So we're sitting with the Bushmen, <laughs> and uh, they're cranking out a call. You know, it's the third third time in a row we've been with them when they're cranking out a call. And then they've passed the kit to us, and we've cranked out calls. So they now know that we crank out calls. And they're like, yeah, we like fires at home, too, we said. You know, and they're just kind of cranking away, you know, taking their time. And they kind of looked, you know, and the interpreter explained what we just said, and they nodded their heads. And then we said, could you please tell them that at home we sing while others are working on the coal? Because everybody wants to feel part of the fire lighting. So, you know, we can't all get in there, so we want to sing for the fire makers. So he listens, continues to crank, you know, and then the other bushman takes over and cranks, and he leans back for a second, and he says, can you sing for us? So first song we sing is a Chumash fire honoring song. And we tell them this song is about the jackal because they don't have a coyote. <coughs> but in America, it's about the coyote running round and round, chasing the rabbit round the bush. And it gets faster and faster and faster until the bush catches on fire. Okay? <laughs> and the song goes faster and faster and faster, and it's a Chumash fire song. And uh, so we told them that, and they did what you guys just did. They laughed. You know, the women and men alike laughed. And then... Um, I tried to get the 12 people from America to sing with a little bit of spirit this Chumash song, but they didn't know it well and they felt a little weird about it. So I kind of felt that, you know, and the Bushmen were not really remarking, you know, right? <laughs> so then I said, wait a minute, I know you guys, because this song kind of like petered out in kind of this awkward way. And then into the awkward silence I said, I know what song we should be singing. This song comes from the teenagers in Vermont, I told you. They wrote it for their sacred fire initiation. And I said, it's got a lot of spirit, and it's from the teenagers in our country. And they were all just like, yeah, you know. So I just started going like this. And everyone just started doing that, right? And then we just, just busted it out, right? <laughs> Light it up to live. And then the Bushmen kind of looked at us because everyone was getting, it was a little faster. Then, then, then. We'll always be there, you got to light it up to live. So the Bushmen's cranking this coal. You can keep singing if you want, quietly. And all of a sudden it starts smoking like two to three times much more than it did. And he stops and he says, tell them it's working. <laughs> it was such a cool moment. It was like one of the coolest moments ever. <laughs> It's inside me. So you can see what music could do for us, can't you? It's what was that? I can, I can see. see, I can see. <laughs> How's it make you feel? It's inside me. <laughs> yeah. It sets me free. And on, light it up. You ready? Light it up to me. <laughs> 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 haven't got that one yet. But <laughs> <laughs> later on, later on, I do want you to know the Bushmen did tell us later that whatever that was was happening, and they're really practical people. I want you to know that. If it works, they'll tell you. And if it doesn't work, they'll tell you. And so they said, you know, when you sing that song while we're lighting fire, it makes it go faster. <laughs> So I won't be surprised if we come back and they're singing some song during the fire lighting, you know, because they're probably going to be thinking about that, you know. But, you know, the main point here is that with all of us, you know, music and song used to be the center of our culture. And culture is that which brings us in connection to ourselves, to nature, and to one another. Remember that. Song and, and music and art has been taken lift it and put in a cage called the arts and music, you know, almost like it's this other thing over here. But it used to be the center. It used to be the center. So I just want you to consider that as you move forward because, you know, in Art of Mentoring, we realize, as my son Aiden said uh, in Germany when we were doing the Song of Mentoring, which is <coughs> Art of Mentoring meets music um, in Germany, um, he said, you know, this coyote teaching and, and cultural mentoring brings people and connects them to nature, but music connects people to people. 